All right, everybody, the shark is going to attack a Hitachi large projector screen type uh, system. Now, I've done a few of these in the past. The only reason that I'm doing this one is because I can get the stuff into a dumpster relatively easily. I do not recommend doing these unless you have access to a place where you can get rid of all the waste because there's a lot of plastic, a lot of wood, a lot of big chunky pieces that you're gonna to need to deal with. Basic plan of attack is get the back off and go at the stuff that's gonna be down in there. Now I hear some glass rattling around in there, so I think we've got some things potentially broken. So let's find out what, we got what we're dealing with when we get inside. All right, so we've got uh, Phillips here. These should come off relatively easily. We'll see how well they want to play. for you. The mirror inside is what broke. So we've got all kinds of broken mirror to deal with. All right, um, I'm going to go get my heavy duty gloves, my, my good canvas gloves, because I'm just thinking that there is blood waiting to happen, and I would prefer not to do that. So the scrap goddess is either going to get blood or she's going to get safety gloves. I prefer to use safety gloves. I'll be, I'll be right back. Another reason why you want to be careful of doing this if you're doing it at home, in your own garage or shed or something like that. This mirror is uh, just shattered with all kinds of small shards waiting to cut and cause damage. I'll be dealing with this throughout the entire strap because I'm sure that glass is all over the place in there. There's going to be more of that glass to deal with. Nice big board in there anyway. Very large, low grade board.
and it wants to pull out easily, so that's nice. Um, let's get the wire clippers. Well, that was very nice, very nice and convenient the way it came out. Um, you can see we've got a super large, low grade board here. We're gonna take a look in some of these somewhere here, where we should. We I'm hoping that we'll have a decent, uh, some decent electronics. But you know, we may not. This just might be really old-fashioned kind of technology here so we'll see what we're dealing with so these gloves are a bit bulky for working on this but I with this glass in here I'm being really careful So there's a lens. Wow, that's quite a lens. Hello. What's it look like for you all? <laughs> I wonder what that does. I wonder what... <laughs> I can't wait to see what that looks like. Side of a barn. How did water get in here?
this may need to come out of the way. water inside of here. I don't know how in the world all this water got inside of here. Very strange. All right, let's see. So those are eat those are little tubes. So essentially what we're dealing with are three little tubes. Each one would have projected a certain color and the colors would have been stitched together to create the image. And there's water in here. That is the strangest thing. place here, aren't we? with water. Look at that. You know what? I don't think that's water. I don't set you there. That looks thicker than water. All right, so what I thought was water is actually some sort of oil inside of these cases and that the lens is having broken. The oil is leaking all over the place. So, I put you in there so that the oil is contained. So, this is the first, turns out this is the first time I've ever done one of these. I've done large projection screens, but they were DLP type projection screens. This um, is a old, old much older style. Um, it's got CR, three CRTs projecting up the different colors and apparently the lenses of those CRTs were filled with some sort of oil. Now I see electric shock warnings but I don't see any hazmat warnings. So and get the cabling out of the way.
Got another low grade board here. Let me get you out. This is all the buttons. So I'm going to check these because if this is an older style, there might be a larger uh, silver dollop on those than what we find on some of the newer stuff. The, those tactile switches may have a decent amount of silver on them. So I'll check those. Otherwise, this is just a low grade board with some IC chips. So there's a nice big IC chip there, a couple of small IC chips there. And then each of these tactile switches, let's take a look real quick. Oh, those are not tactile switches. Those are tunings. Those are tuning sets. So they are actually little resistors for tuning. And the technicians would have used that, I imagine. So we'll probably just pull the ICs and then they'll go in the low grade board. So the yokes um, just turned out to be, you know, standard kind of yokes on a CRT tube. Nothing, nothing terribly exciting about those. The little brackets holding on the clips were stainless steel. Uh, and then we've just got this really big low grade board here. So, uh, you know, we'll pull off a few things like some copper toroids. You got some nice Nice, relatively large sized toroids on there. We'll look for a few uh, goodies that uh, might be hiding from us at this point. Uh, there's plenty of copper on that board to pull and some uh, aluminum heat sinks. Uh, so, you know, we'll get all that. We'll get the uh, insulated copper wire. We'll look and see if there's any uh, tantalums on there, epoxy type old style. Other than that, low grade board. So, you know, it was a messy scrap. Um, but I'm glad I was in the shark cage to get it done. If you enjoy e-waste scrapping, there's going to be a link to pop up to take you to my e-waste scrapping playlist. There's all kinds of goodies there and plenty more to come. This is Shark Scrapper. We'll see you on the next one.